No trespassing signs are keeping people out of the Rock Cemetery in Berks County. The couple that bought the cemetery in 2010 claimed they didn't realize it was active. What they're doing to us now, it's not fair. Now, people who have family buried here and purchase plots are being kept out. Under state law, cemetery companies that sell you burial plots or grave markers are required to register with the state. But a cemetery like this run by a religious or a fraternal organization is not required to register. That means records of sold burial plots and grave markers could be kept in an old binder somewhere, if they exist at all. Pennsylvania law is in the 18th and 19th century, and we need to bring it forward to accommodate situations like this. Rock Cemetery is in the legislative district of State Representative Mark Gillen. He's introduced legislation to set future guidelines for the sale and transfer of cemeteries and burial plots. The dead are there. They're ours. Cases like this are getting the attention of lawmakers and casting light on the gaps in Pennsylvania cemetery laws. In Adams County, hundreds of families were left searching for answers and money when Oak Lawn Memorial Gardens was sold at sheriff's sale. Former owner James Delaney is charged with taking nearly $1.5 million. In York County, the owners of Suburban Memorial Gardens are under federal investigation, suspected of taking money from families there. Even though cemetery companies are required to register with the Pennsylvania Department of State, if the registration expires, the company only gets a letter notifying them of the expiration. Nothing else happens. According to state records, the registration for James Delaney expired in 2010, and yet he continued to operate. And financial statements for cemetery companies are not filed with the state. Instead, they must be filed in each county court. There's a void and there's a chasm in, in Pennsylvania law. We need to get into the 21st century. You can't even find a common definition of burial plot. The bottom line here, our investigation shows a series of state cemetery laws that can be best described as patchwork. There are different rules for different cemetery operations and situations, and no clear definition of which agency actually has enforcement powers. Going back to that situation in Berks County, it resulted in a legislative hearing where the families testified. I've never seen uh -huh. this before. Lawmakers were actually in tears there that particular day, and they were vowing to take action. Three pieces of legislation have been introduced to deal with these kind of situations, both just, uh, before and afterward. The legislative session is just about to expire, so they'll have to be reintroduced. We'll follow them for you next year. Is it likely these laws will be changed? Well, Mark Gillen told me that he went around the Capitol, and uh, he says he's never had this before. When he talked about his piece of legislation, mm -hmm. no one opposed it. Wow. Okay. No opposition at all. Well, it is heartbreaking on many fronts. All it right. Is. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian.